So uh, we were examining uh, an old material and we found some patchouli in it. So uh, we popped up a question to Steve asking him whether, what's the difference between patchouli light and uh, normal patchouli? So um, I found, I heard an interesting answer from Steve. I thought we should share it with everyone. So can you yeah, okay, tell so, us more about so this? Sometimes patchouli, when it's first distilled, mm -hmm. if, it's very, if it's distilled from glass, it's fairly light colored. Okay. But if you, if you actually distill it in uh, steel, and mm -hmm. what happens is that you get a reaction between the, the iron in the patchouli and the patchouli oil. Mm -hmm. uh, so the iron in the steel and the patchouli, and it turns it very, very dark. Mm. Something, something like that sort of color. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can go even almost black. Mm. And so how do you make it light again? Yes. So. There are two essential ways. One is you can redistill it. Mm -hmm. That means you have to put it into a steel and boil it, and obviously it's quite expensive to do. Yes. But there, there is a quick uh, trick, tr uh, trick to try. Okay. And that is to use citric acid. Citric acid. So. How, so, how much of citric acid per kilo? So, or that? so literally, you wouldn't need more than one percent of your oil. Wow. And citric acid will not dissolve in the oil. Okay. So what will happen is that essentially you add it to the oil and then you uh, maybe you stir it or you turn it once a day mm. just to make sure that the patch of the citric acid is contacting all the molecules of the patch of it. Yes. And what will happen is the, the citric acid will chelate or chelate the iron from the, the oil mm. and then drop out the solution. Mm. And your your citric acid will have little black spots on it. Okay. And then all you need to either decant mm. or filter, filter it. Yeah. The, the citric acid out and then you have a lighter citric, uh, citric acid. If that doesn't work, then you go to the step of di distillation or something. Yes, but, but will, will adding the citrus acid, will it change the smell of the citric battery? Acid, no, citric acid won't change the smell of it. Um, yeah. e even if you taste citric acid in food and in lemon juice and things like that, it mm. helps to kill heavy metals oh. from your body. Okay, yeah. interesting. That's why lemon interesting. Works. Okay, so we just uh, uh, like filter it, but it, I mean, uh, I think you mentioned earlier that it will um, it will remove some part of the strong smells. Yeah. So sometimes the the reaction of the iron and the actually gives you a darker and it seems to have a richer smell mm. so when you take that iron out and it becomes light it tends to be a lighter form mm. so it becomes maybe a little bit more like clear wood yeah, yeah. yes In, yes from, from firming it. yes so when you do that okay all right thank you so much Steve, for this information okay. yeah hi <laughs> <laughs> ال... باختصار ان هو قال لما بيجي ال... ال... الباتشولي لما بيتحط في وعاء يكون معدن المعدن بي... بيتفاعل مع الجزيئات الباتشولي وبيخليه يغمق في اللون فلما يحصل كده نعمل ايه؟ طبعا بيضيف للريحه شويه بيضيف لها حاجه اقوى شويه ف... بس برده ما بيبقاش ده شكله زي ما هو فريش نعمل ايه عشان نعالج الموضوع ده؟ طريقتين يا اما ان احنا نقطر الباتشولي تاني أو الطريقة الثانية إن إحنا ناخد سيتريك أسيد، أوكي؟ والسيتريك أسيد بنحط مثلاً كمية صغيرة كده على الـ على الـ الباتشولي وبنقلبه مثلاً كل يوم نعمل نحن صراحة نقلبه مرة أو مرتين، اللي بيحصل إنه لما بيعمل كده بي بي بيلم الجزيئات بتاعة المعدن وبيخليها تنزل تترسب نقدر بعدها نفلتره فالريحة ترجع زي ما كانت ويطلع ويرجع ريحته تبقى أنقى زي ما كانت فسألته طب مش ده بيقلل من قوة الريحة وقال آه فعلا يعني في ناس بتحب ال فينا بعض الناس بتحب يعني بتربط الحاجة الكويسة بأنها قد إيه قوية بس ده مش معناها إن هو حاجة بيور أو حاجة إن هي نقية زي ما هي في الأصل بتاعها آه فلما بنعمل عملية الـ الـ اللي هي إزالة إزالة المعدن دي بيحصل إنه بيكون الريحة شوية آه أنقى بتبقى شبه مركب زي كلير وود مثلا ولا حاجة 
وفبيبقى الريحه انقى وانعم بس كده نتمنى ان احنا نكون فدناكم اسفين على الاطاله